here's, here's three quick videos. Boom. Number one, glutes. Hit those big, big, big glutes. So two large balls of the spanner, high in your glutes, cross the right leg over the left, drop some body weight out to that side. Find an area that's tight or tender. Remember, we're not rolling around. We just want to roll, feel that fiber of tightness, hit it and feel how it behaves. Wait for it to ease away and we'll hit three or four of those spots, both left and right side. Position number two, drop that right leg down. You'll feel that sink deeper into your hip rotators. Remembering if we open the opposite leg up, it'll deload. If we bring the opposite leg across, it's going to load that pressure up as we work deep and a little more laterally around the hip. Hit that spot, feel what it feels like, feel how it behaves. And again, repeating that on the opposite side. So if you feel like your hip's coming off when you go into that position number one or two, just take this hand, wedge it in on the spanner. That's gonna act as a bit of a, a break and also a, a positional facilitator for you as well. So you can be really specific and target those fibers that need hitting. Okay, cool. Once you've done that, everyone's favorite configuration. Boom. Here we go. So here, again, we're looking for top of the hip, bony prominence called the greater trochanter, smack bang in the middle. So we can either come in from the front or we can bring it in from the back. I'll just turn around. Laying on your side, lift up. And then working through. This will hit your TFL, work through your glute me, glute min. Spend about five minutes on each side. Good, how are you? Excellent. Yeah, that was a good one. Open those hips up and nice. get squatting. Cheers, guys. See you soon. Next.